Hello, in a previous video tutorial I was showing you how to correct for the fisheye distortion that a lot of point of view cameras such as the GoPro Hero series uh, creates when uh, on a wide angle setting. Uh, showed you how to do that in Adobe's Photoshop and this time I'm going to show you how to correct for this in Adobe's After Effects. As you can see from this, this same clip that we used last time, we've got this uh, distortion here around the canopy of the boat and uh, a huge distortion there of the actual ocean. So in After Effects, how would we compensate for this? Well, it's very easy. Uh, they actually have some geometric distortion correction settings and uh, if you go into the Effects and Presets panel, uh, which is over here on my right. If for any reason it's not showing up on your version of After Effects, go to the Window tab and make sure that Effects and Presets uh, is ticked and that will then show up uh, somewhere across your panel. And what you want to type in here is for Optics and there you see Optics Compensation and you can drag that over to the actual item and you'll get this dialog over here on the left which uh, starts off with field of view and it's at zero at the moment and uh, I would normally go to something probably quite high around 83 if I drag that up with my mouse if I get that up I can either drag it or I can actually highlight it and then type the actual number in like I've just done as you can see in the uh, preview window that now shows a rather distorted view so what we want to do is reverse that lens distortion by ticking the reverse lens distortion box and we actually get nice straight lines. Uh, the other thing that I like to do is to uh, tick the resize button to max four times. I th personally think it just adds a little something to it. And um, now if we actually render this out, uh, you'll actually get a very good corrected version. If I turn it on and off you can see the before and uh, how much that's corrected it by. Obviously also how much it's cropped it like it did in Photoshop but it's done a very good job. What I'll do now is render this out in my usual fashion for After Effects and I'll show you the before and afters side by side and then the before and after as full screen. So here we are with the two before and afters. Above top left is the before and uh, bottom right is the after correction. Depending on whether you've got Photoshop or After Effects obviously it will depend on which one you use. I think Photoshop just has a little edge because there is a little bit more control uh, but obviously it's ultimately up to you. So now I'm going to show you the before and afters in full screen so you can compare them and uh, here we are with the before with all the uh, distortion and now coming up is the after. Once again I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and your comment, rate and subscribe. So until the next video, goodbye.